Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Interesting headline. China claims to have cloned three super cows. That's right, folks. And they say these super cows will be able to produce 18 tons of milk a year, which according to this article is more than double what an average UK cow produces. But this article says that American cows produce 12 tons of milk a year, so that would only be about 1.7% as much milk. Hey, don't be mad at me, British cow. I'm just reading the stats. These clones apparently come from a special breed of Dutch cows, and China's plan is to make a herd of a thousand of them. Now, most of us are aware that the first cloned animal was the sheep named Dolly back in 1997. And since then, you can find lists with up to 22 different creatures that have been cloned. Interesting times we live in for sure. This article reads that animal cloning is a form of animal reproduction that does not require a union of a sperm and an egg. The most common animal cloning technique is referred to as somatic cell nuclear transfer, where the nucleus of an immature egg cell is replaced with that of a cell from a body part, such as an ear, leg, nose, etc. But apparently there are three different types of artificial cloning, gene cloning, reproductive cloning, and therapeutic cloning. And this nifty little chart shows us the steps that happen with this process. This stuff is way above my pay grade. But the question is, are they cloning humans? This article says that in 2002, a lady named Bridget announced the birth of the first human clone called Eve, yet has offered no proof of this. Yet another coverage on baby Eve seems to verify that it did happen. Other reports claim that we've been able to clone people for seven years and come up with all sorts of reasons why it hasn't been done yet. But I, for one, believe that if it can be done, the twisted elites are doing it for their own strange reasons. It doesn't matter how much they preach on the pros and cons of this and seem to show that they've made the ethical choice not to do it, we know that the elites don't care what we think. But this brings us to Revelation 13:15, that tells us that the second beast was permitted to give breath to the image of the first beast, so that the image could speak and cause all who refused to worship it to be killed. Could this image end up being a human clone? Well, that's a definite possibility. We'll know for sure when we are told to worship whatever this image is, or else be put to death. But be sure of one thing. Revelation 14 tells us that if anyone worships the beast and its image and receives his mark, they will drink the wine of God's wrath and they will be tormented with fire and sulfur. And the next verses are crystal clear that the smoke of their torment rises forever and ever and that there is no rest day or night for those who worship the beast and his image or for anyone who receives the mark of his name. So any pastor, and there's a few unfortunately, that says you can take the mark of the beast is either completely ignorant or an outright deceiver. God has made this passage perfectly clear, and there should be no confusion here. And you thought this video was just going to be about cows. Oh, him again. I guess that's my cue to wrap things up for today. So feel free to leave your comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.